Hi you guys. Um, it's a bit late in the day to be putting on my face, but I had one of those mornings where I got to put on my CC cream. So I had on my SPF while I took a walk around the lake. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put on my makeup um, before dinner. So I'm gonna do a bit more of an evening look. I've got here my Arbonne brushes, vegan, cruelty free, my neat brush set, and I'm going to get out my makeup from my makeup bag. So I already have on my CC cream and I'm just gonna build from there, which is another tip with uh, makeup is you don't always have to start over, especially when you go from day to evening, you can actually just continue to apply, um, especially your eyeshadow. That's something that really enhances the look. Eyeshadow and lipstick can make a big difference from day to night. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and apply some of my foundation. So I've got my foundation liquid brush and I've got my Perfecting Liquid Foundation Broad Spectrum with 15 SPF. I'm gonna put one dab on the back of my hand and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my face. A little bit goes a long way. Again, like I said, I only used one dab. I got that much out on the palm of my hand. It's enough to cover my entire face. I have been known to apply more foundation on places like my nose and around my chin after doing the first application because it does dry and set in place. Um, that, again, will give you a fuller coverage but this foundation tends to be more of a medium overall coverage. Please um, feel free to comment below, like, subscribe, so you can see my future videos. Also, um, give me some advice on what you wanna see in the future, I've been watching some really fun videos where they're doing a lot of artistry and kind of more of the modern day looks where they're doing multicolored eyeshadows, almost a rainbow effect, and a lot of special details. I don't really see you guys enjoying that, but if you want to see my products in a more artistic fashion, I'd be happy to show you. We definitely have a broad spectrum of color, so we are capable of creating that, especially when I get my new palette, which I've been waiting for, the Cherry Blossom one. Um, depending on when you're watching this video, if it is still around June 2020, we have a limited edition palette available called Cherry Blossom, and I can't wait to get it and share it with you guys. Um, but today I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use volume two. Volume two is more of our pinky stone colors. Also, um, you might want to call them gems. Uh, we have opal, amethyst, sapphire. Those are just some of the names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, mm, I think I'm going to go with the lightest of the tones, which is this one right here. Slate, Marble, and Pebble. But first I'm gonna put on my eyelid primer. Now eyelid primer can be really helpful with keeping your eyeshadows on. Uh, it gives it something to adhere to. It almost creates like a sticky foundation so that your shadow stays in place. So I'm just going to apply that on the eyelid and then I'm going to smooth it out. So you just want to get it evenly all over the eyelid. This is another product where a little bit goes a long way.
Okay, so now it's fully covered. I'm going to take my large eyeshadow brush that we call the All Over Eye, which comes in the kit of the vegan cruelty-free brushes. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start with my lightest color. So I'm first gonna go with Slate, and Slate's gonna be more of my highlight color. So I'm gonna put it in the interior of my eye, close to the bridge of my nose. I'm also going to use it as a highlight underneath my brow. So not all the way down to the eye socket bone, just above that, just below the brow. Once you're done with your highlighting, you're gonna go ahead and move on to Slate. And Slate is actually going to be the one that you put in your eye bone area. You want to apply it just to the point of blending with the previous color and working to the eyelid, and that's Slate. Okay, and then finally, you're going to take Pebble, which is the darkest color of this series of three, and you're going to apply that to the eyelid. Start in the middle, and then work your way back and forth from side to side, just tapping the brush. A light application is all you need. There you go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Just kind of give your eyeshadow brush a quick little brush on the back of your hand to release any of the excess color. And go back to your lightest and you're working your way down. So you're starting in your brow with slate, then in your eye socket with marble, and then your eyelid with pebble. Okay, so I've done slate and marble and now I'm just going to dab into my pebble and put that all over my lid. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is Take my slant brush and I'm going to line my eyes with the darkest color from the palette. So we were working with the lightest, now we're going to go to the darkest, I believe it's onyx, it's onyx. And we're going to dab your brush into that and then you're going to work underneath your lash line, just pushing almost into where your lashes are and you're gonna work it all the way over just tapping that slant just tapping it underneath your eyelashes picking it up and moving on to the next spot and it'll create a nice solid line repeat that on the other side Okay, and then we're going to do a line on the upper eyelid. So we're just going to, again, go right into the lash line, work that slant brush back and forth. You're kind of just tapping it into your lashes. And we're going to, again, go with onyx. Working from one side to the other, creating a nice solid line. There we are. And then I'm gonna do that to the other eye as well.
Okay, so now we're done with the shadow, but I am going to take my pencil in the color of carbon, and I'm going to line my interior of my eyelid just along the lash line, but from the interior. We call it the water line. I'm going to do that on both sides. Okay. I'm almost done with the eyes. All we need is Speak Volumes, which is our mascara. It's a great mascara. And you just want to give it a nice even coat on all your lashes. Start closer to the base of your eyelashes and work it upward. Nice easy application. I actually like to blink while I'm applying my mascara. I think it's kind of like a, a helper to applying your mascara because you're working in the opposite direction as you're stroking. And make sure you get those lower lashes, especially when you've done an eyeliner on your lower eyelid. It's very important to put in that extra effort so it looks nice and blended. Okay, so we're done with the eyes. What's next is the eyebrow. And I have my eyebrow pencil. And I also have my tinted brow cream called Shape It Up. So first I'm going to take my pencil, which is also Shape It Up, and I'm going to create the appearance of hairs with my pencil. So I'm going to start at the beginning of my brow and make a very upward stroke, which kind of gives your brow that sharper definition. And I'm just going to do that about five or six times on both sides. And that's just to create the very beginning of your brow and give it a fuller appearance. When I get to about where my arch is, right here, I instead of going in an upward motion, actually make the strokes in a downward motion. And that's a bit more of how the hair naturally grows. Do that on both sides. And that's about all you need to do with the pencil to Increase the fullness of the look of your brows. It's just kind of like drawing on little hairs. And now I'm going to take the Shape It Up Tinted Brow Cream and I'm going to coat my eyebrow hairs. And it also creates the ability to kind of push them around however you want to. So what I do is I coat them in an upward stroke and then I just take my finger and over the top make sure that there aren't any stray hairs and kind of push them into line with one another. So first you coat them in an upward stroke like so. And then I go back and I just kind of touch the very tips so that blends together and then go along the bottom to see if there's any strays to push them into where the cream will hold them set. So that's the difference from the brow that has the gel and that's the brow that has the pencil. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other brow as well. A little bit more on my brush. Okay, so I got it coated, and then again, I'm going to take my finger and go over the top. Oh, here, let me see. Here we go. Push them all into place, and then go along the bottom, make sure they're all set into the cream gel. And there we go, the brows are finished. Uh, my next step is going to be to contour with my bronzer and then to apply my blush. So here is my bronzer. 
beautiful bronzer with a light shimmer to it and it came in a value kit so I did get it for a special retail price. I recommend doing the value packs. They give you the most for your money and you will use these products. They're again vegan and cruelty free. They're really good for your skin. It's like you're wearing a face mask all day long. So I'm gonna go ahead and start underneath my uh, cheekbone here and then I'm gonna go up above my brow, down along my jaw. I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. Call these the E's and threes. Okay, and again, I'm doing more of an evening look, and a lot of times I like to give myself kind of a sun-kissed look, but I think that's a bit more daytime. So what I'm going to do instead of bronzing the rest of my face is I'm actually going to get out my concealer. And I'm going to go back to my foundation brush because it'll help me blend it in. But I'm going to take my concealer, and I'm going to put under my eyes in kind of a triangle form and around my nose on my chin a little bit on my forehead this can also be done to um, define your eyebrows more now I already have my eyeshadow in place so I'm not going to go back through with the concealer but it does give you a nice sharp brow when after you've done your powder and your cream you take a nice line and just kind of blend it underneath. It gives a very distinct look to your brow. More polished. But I'm just concealing in places where I tend to have a bit more redness and they tend to be darker, especially in photos right around the bridge of my nose and under my eyes. So this will just help to lighten and brighten up those areas. And again on my chin, around my lips. I will be lining my lips and putting on lipstick. It is also good to conceal around them, it prevents the lipstick from running, especially if you're going to do a red lip, I highly recommend concealing around your lips before you put on your red lipstick. Okay, I'm just making sure everything's nice and blended. There we go, so now I'm concealed. I'm going to go with my blush next. My blush is Merlot. This is one of my favorites. It works for every skin type. Merlot. It's got a lot of rich pigment to it though, so a little bit goes a long way. Just tap your brush in and put it on the apples of your cheeks. Go ahead and blend. Get in the apples of your cheeks and blend. Okay, next I'm going to line my lips with Tulip, the lip liner. It's more of a natural tone. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it around the base of my lip. And today I'm going to do the peaks of my Cupid's bow. But first I'm going to start in the corner and work my way up. Okay, and then make a sharp line where my peaks are. Try not to go too far outside of the natural line of your lips, but that is something that you can do too. A lot of us don't have perfectly symmetrical lips, so this is one of those times where you can make those adjustments.
Okay, so now the lips are lined. I'm gonna find my lipstick. I want the shade Lily. Here we are. And I'm just gonna apply all over. Here we go. Full face, I am ready for dinner. Just need to change my outfit from walking earlier. And here it is, finished face, all vegan Arbonne cosmetics. Check out my links below, um, follow me on Instagram, and uh, check out my website. I'm gonna put my website on this one. So I look forward to chatting with you. Go ahead and message, comment, uh, keep in touch. Let me know what you want to see and I will see you soon. Bye you guys